Yo, what's up Trippy Squad? It's your boy Trippy. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing my first story time. Yeah, you guys heard it. Story time. It's my first one, so I'm a little excited and nervous because I don't know how it's gonna go. I hope I'm good at telling stories because everything you're gonna hear is real. No made up. This really happened to me. And I hope you guys like it. So, like this video. Subscribe, join the Trippy fam. I'm about to hit 6K. Thank you guys for all the support and love. I'm out here really doing it. And let's just get this video started. So for today's story time, we're gonna be talking about the first time, wait, the first time. I hope it's the last time. It was the only time I totaled my Mustang and almost went to jail. Can you imagine me in jail, you guys? Like, what's up, square up? <laughs> what you in here for? Don't worry about it. I'm in here, right? <laughs> this story time happened in 2015. I remember clearly because Mayweather was fighting Pacquiao and it was like the biggest hyped ever. Everybody was excited to see this fight. You know, before the fights, you got to turn up, you know, pregame, the homies, you know, place your bets in who you think is going to win. So I went to this kickback in my friend's house. Mayweather wins. <laughs> Anonymous decisions the weakest way you can win you feel me doesn't nobody even knocks each other out which is weak party ends We all going home, you know And I think I was DD that night if you guys don't know what DD stands for it's destinated Driver and I don't know why I was put in that position. Oh, I know why because I had the Mustang You know everybody wanted to be in the Mustang. I had just got it and you know trippy we driving like so everybody wanted to be in the mustang i was dd that night there's party ends we go to my car i'm walking we're walking down the hill because my friend lives in the hills i don't know why i remember everything so clearly like i never i would never forget this driving we're going down the hill get to my car i'm with joe one of my friends p one of my other friends and trap one of my other friends they're all close friends to me too, by the way. Like, I grew up with these guys. Except Joe. But anyways, anyways. I get to my car. Put the music on, you know. I think I was going to drive everybody, drop everybody off home. I don't think we were going to do anything else. And the worst part about it, we were drinking Corona, you guys. I had a coronavirus for this video and without even being out yet. I was drinking Corona and I was... I think I was buzzed, but I don't know. Yeah, I know. I don't even have hard liquor, you guys. I, I think you guys, are, you guys are figuring out what's happening now. I was a little buzzed, and I got in the car. And we drove down the hill. And there's this big, like, curvy road where you got to, like, literally steer the whole steering wheel to, like, you know, make the turn. And it was like a stop sign before that turn. So we get to the stop sign and boom, it happens, flashback. I like opened my eyes, you guys, and I was like in a ditch. My whole Mustang was in a ditch. And all I can remember was like one of my friends laughing. Like, I don't know why the, why he was laughing like if something was funny. And I clearly remember seeing the airbags had deployed, which which means it's a big accident. Once the airbags deployed, it was a big accident. And that's when I got worried. And I looked around, I made sure everybody was good. Thank God everybody was good. My friends, no one got hurt, you guys. That's the best part about this. Like, I'm in a ditch and you know, I'm trying to turn the car on. I'm pushing the clutch in. I'm driving stick shift. The car turns on. I'm like, yes, it turns on. Put it in reverse. <laughs> trying to gas out of there right i hear the car like gassing the tire spinning but the car is not moving so i guess what had happened was the steering wheel had disconnected from the axles which from the car the front axles because it disconnected so when i was steering steering the wheel 
it wasn't steering anything. There wasn't anything to be steered. Like the wheel was like kind of like, you know, boom. I hope I have pictures. I'm gonna look for some pictures and I'm gonna try to insert them in right here. <laughs> so you guys can see, cause I feel like I'm not the best explainer, but I'm trying. So the, the wheels are like, you know, to the side and the car doesn't move anymore. The car is just straight. I'm trying to gas. I turn the car off. I turn it back on. It's not moving. I'm not going to say who was, you know, pushing what, but somebody in the car had a bag full of work. I'm just like, oh my God. And I knew someone was going to call the police. So I was mentally preparing myself for the police to come, you know. So my friend had some work. And I remember I clearly took the bag of work and I tossed it into the bushes because I didn't want to get caught with that. You know, when you're driving, you're held responsible for everything that happens. So I, cause they were pretty drunk, you guys. I wasn't drunk. I was just buzzed, but they were drunk. You know what I'm saying? So I hit the, the, the I went into the dish. My car doesn't come out. I like just try to like, you know, process everything that's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, mentally prepare myself. I didn't want to call nobody. I was scared to call my dad because I had just got the car, you guys. Imagine calling your dad like, hey, I just crashed the car. Like, that was the worst thing I wanted to do. Like, I didn't, I, I didn't, I never want to stress my parents out, you guys. That's the last thing I want to do is just stress my parents out. I think I called my sister. My sister calls me. She's like, where you at? I'm just like, I'm here. I give her my location. She's like, all right, I'm going to be there as soon as I can. That's good. And I think I ended up calling like the tow truck because the police hasn't like 20 minutes passed by and the police haven't haven't gone to the to the scene yet, you guys. So I'm like thinking of like what I could do to get out of this like like this situation. I called the tow truck. I told them where I'm at. I told them what had happened, and I needed a tow truck. They came really, really fast. Thank God, AAA. Shout out AAA. Police pulls up. They come to me and they're like, well, they kind of, they pull up. They ask who's, who was in the car? Who was driving? They say I was in the car or we all said we were in the car. And I said I was driving, you know, he comes up to me. He's like, were you drinking tonight? And I like looked at him. I was like, no, sir, I was not drinking. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, I mean, I was like, I had a couple beers, but like, I'm not intoxicated or I'm not drunk or anything. And he's like, you know, I'm a breathalyzer, right? Cause he's like, I can smell it. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Like you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Like, I'm not trying to complain with him. I'm trying to just cooperate. Cause that's the best thing you could do at, you know, at this point, you know, there's no fighting with the police. I told him everything he could do, everything's fine. He tells me, do you have a tow truck company? I'm like, yeah, I have AAA, they're on the way already. Everything's like, you know, it's about to be taken care of. Don't stress it. My friend, shout out my friend, Trav, because he's a real one. I don't know if I would've went to jail that night, honestly. I think I would've went to jail. On the scale, like, if I would think about it, I would've went to jail. My friend Trav makes a scene, you guys. He's like, I don't know what he does. He makes a scene to the point where like the cops got distracted and they, they started looking at him. And like he was just like yelling and doing some things and like I just can't remember clearly. But he made a scene to the point where they got they got their eyes off of me. And they like took care of him. They put him in the cop car. I think he ended up going to jail for public intoxication. I think that's what he went to jail for. And they, it kind of got the like the heat off me. The tow truck comes when the cops are there, and they're like, "Whose car is this?" I'm like, "Here's a, like the car, the Mustang. Like, help me out." I'm explaining to them. He's like, you know, he's like, "All right, he's, you know, taking my car out and all this," and the cops are like, "All right, like the car is good. Like the scenery is clean, pretty much at this point." So the cops didn't have nothing else to do. The cops leave the scene you guys one of the cops takes trap to jail and one of the other cops takes my friend pete and joe to their house because they needed a ride and i was i told them i was going to go with the tow truck driver because 
you know how they tow it to your house or wherever you want to go that happens and my sister comes picks me up at the scene and she's like Blah, what are you doing like drinking and driving I'm like I don't know what I was thinking like it happened so fast like I didn't even know I was drunk you know and the f part about it was like no one told me like if I was good you know like to drive like I thought I was good you know it's like if I had someone to tell me like hey are you good to drive could you drive you know, it would have prevented it from happening. But I'm not blaming nobody because I kind of knew to myself. So it's like, I should have known you guys. Moral of the story is don't drink and drive, you guys. No matter what. Like, call somebody, call your friend, call your mom, call Uber, Lyft. Even walk home, like, if you have to, y'all. Because it's not worth it. Your life's not worth it my life's not worth it or even someone else's life's not worth it you guys because i could have hit someone you know it's like the part about it about it the body is and like i kind of always just think of, to myself don't ever do that again. after that i always like that always goes in my mind and just keeps playing and playing and it's just it was really eye-opening, it changed my life. I hardly, I feel like I hardly talk and tell stories, but I wanted to tell this story because I want someone to, you know, listen to my story. Sometimes when you listen to other people's stories, it gives, you know, self conscious and it, your mind tells you like, don't do that. It thinks about Trippy, thinks about everybody else that was impacted by drinking and driving, you know? So, I'm sorry if you're drinking and driving, you guys. I know, like, that's the stupidest thing that I did in my life. But I hope this video helps somebody out there that's going to do what I'm going to do, you know. I kind of want to prevent that from happening. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for watching the story time. I hope I did good. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee!